Hello, my wonderful second grade students. Today we will be doing an animal collage that has to do with the endangered animals we learned about this week. So here's mine. I did the orangutan, and it's an endangered species, and the world population is 104,700. So you don't have to put that if you don't want to, but if you'd like to show that, it's in my PowerPoint if you'd like to show that with your animal. You can do any of those animals from the presentation, like the polar bear or the tiger, um, anything you want. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my monkey. So I'm gonna start with the head and add the part where its mouth is gonna go. And then draw the eyes. I like to do like an upside down U that connects. And do that same thing for the other side. Um, draw a nose. So U and then little stubs. And then you're probably gonna wanna do this with, with pencil and then Sharpie. Um, I'm just doing it with Sharpie so that um, you guys will be able to see it better. So I'm drawing my animal. And then it has a long torso, a little bit of a gut here, and that add the chest. And then I added the belly button, um, and then I just drew his hands out like this, and then up like this. Because they're very hairy, that's why I did so many um, zigzag lines. And then monkeys have knuckles just like we do and opposable thumbs. So we'll give them some variation here. And then the other arm. So it's the opposite of the one we just did. You can make... If you're doing an orangutan, you can make them as hairy as you want to. Um, and you don't, when we go to color it or add um, pieces of paper to ours, um, you don't have to do the same color as the animal is. You can. I tried my best to do that. Um, but you can have fun with some color here. hair and then we're gonna add feet and then his toes Same for the other side. And then I didn't do a mouth up here, so I'm going to add a mouth. So he's kind of smiley. And then what we're going to do next is I cut some strips out, and we're going to use organic shapes. Um, and I want these to vary. Like I have um, some red, some yellow, some black. Um, and I used colored paper, but you could use things like tissue paper or um, we were thinking about you could color your own piece of paper or scrapbook paper works well for this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, just have fun. Don't do just like all squares, but you could do... Um, abstract shapes, organic shapes, um, 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to piece them together in your composition. So what I did is I made the hair red. So I have a bunch of red here. I'll cut some more out. And I tr cut some triangle line, or triangle pieces of paper to act like the zigzag lines that I made here. It adds some dimension to the work. So you can just have fun. It's kind of like a puzzle, but you're creating your own. Um, and then I used yellow for my the skin of my monkey. So you can add some there, and you can have it overlapping. And then um, the one I made that I completed, if some of my lines are covered up, I draw on top of the paper. So like for his chest and his belly button, or um, his eyebrows, which we didn't add to this one. We can add that right now. Um, you can always draw on top of this paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue some of my shapes down. And what I would like you to do is, um, when you're using your glue stick at home, you shouldn't make it go all the way out like this, but it should just be over the end of the plastic here. So just like that. That's all I need. Um, and then since these are smaller shapes, I can put it right on top of there because I don't care if I get a little sticky, but I don't want my entire piece of paper covered in glue. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to do that for all of the shapes until my entire composition is covered. Um, if you don't have glue at home, I would use clear tape, so like scotch tape you could use. Um, any sort of adhesive um, rubber cement, that, that gets a little stinky though. And you have to use um, a bigger area to do it in too, because you don't want to breathe that stuff in that much, but if you have rubber cement, it would work. Yeah, so I'm just overlapping my shapes. And that is it for today's um, collage, um, animal collage. And if you need any help, just message me on Google Classroom on this assignment. Or you can, um, I don't know if you guys have my email, but um, I'll email you if you have questions. So yeah.